Howdy y'all, Scott Grove here showing off some of the guitars I have picked up recently. Um, this one here, it go, takes you back to 1982. Um, this is a Washburn A15. Okay, they re-released these as Total Garbage later on, but um, as their stage series or whatever. But the old ones are cool. They had an A5, two different versions that had um, two single coils and a telly type of plate on it. Then they had an A5 that had two humbuckers, both the same model number, go figure. A10 had two humbuckers. Um, A15, this one, with the three singles, and an A20 with two humbuckers and a push pull pots for the split coils and so forth. Okay, so that was the difference. Um, all of which have the neck through type of thing. There's no set neck, there's no bolt neck versions until you get with the new ones that are um, junk. <laughs> okay, great big binding on these things so it stands out. This one's kind of beat. It's been around the block. I bought it because these things. Um, if, you're looking, if you're like me and you were brought up in the 80s around all the hair bands, um, you get all, I love the sound of a Strat. I don't like the Strat as a guitar, but I love the sound of them. Um, they do, the scale length is just wrong on the fenders for me. So I'm always looking for something weird shaped, but that sounds like a Strat. You know, I just get sick of, look, there's a gazillion Stratocasters there. They all look at, you know, the same with a different paint job thrown on them. So I look for flying V's or explorer looking things, whatever, that came factory with three single coils and this one did. Okay, what's cool about this? Kit number one, you have uh, brass saddles, makes it nice. Um, everything about it is nice, it sounds great. Um, the tone knobs actually do something. <laughs> So they are actually useful. Go up here. The volume knob actually works. It doesn't just shut off and then on like most of today's garbage guitars. Um, everything about it's cool. If you're not into a V-neck, um, phone's ringing again. We'll fix that. Close the door. So, um, what we have here is uh, the back of the neck is a hard, hard V. You're not going to get to see it probably in this lighting, but it's like you're playing the edge of a table. I mean, it's that hard of a V. It's not even a soft V, okay? So it's really got a good V to it. The headstock is kind of funky in that, okay, it's a very short Explorer type of thing. Try to get all the glare off here, but the keys are so close together that you cannot use a string winder on them. But at the same time, the uh, strings go more to directly pass through the nut to the tuners so that you don't get so much binding like on a real explorer or something. So there's not so much, uh, you know, and kink, kink, kink every time you're trying to tighten up a string. So that takes out some of that. Um, everything else, I mean, it's just a cool guitar. It's not so massive. Um, that, like a regular Explorer, it's actually comfortable. Everything about it is comfortable. Okay, how does it sound? It sounds pretty close to a Strat. It's laid out correctly, 22 frets, so that your, if you had 24, your pickup would be in the wrong position. It would be up this way more and uh, be all messed up as far as tone trying to sound like a Strat. That was their whole thing, trying to get a Strat sound out of it. So here I am in the two positions. So you got your neck pickup and your middle pickup. <laughs> Very clean sounding. The other one being the four position, your strat sound. Okay, it's just clean. If you're looking for that good country twang, which I always am. Nails 
it in spades, but you get a funky looking guitar if that's what you're into it for. The input jack is a telly type of thing right there. Okay, they could have done with like maybe a strap thing and brought it more back towards a strap, but done like a the strap Stratocaster cup thing would have made it a lot better. But using a straight out thing, eh, don't like that. Uh, the back, typical ferules there, where it goes string through the body. Uh, the binding, like I said, is cool. You'll get all your dings and dongs there. Um, so there it is, just cool guitar. The rock sounds, how are they? <laughs> I mean, so it handles everything great. If you want a great old guitar for like hardly any money on eBay, grab you the Washburn A15. If you see a V after the model number, it means it has a vibrato. This is a hardtail. So the A series, awesome guitars. So 10,000 big thumbs up on the good old Washburns. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up. I see my battery on my camera's going dead, but awesome guitar. I can't talk these up enough. If you want a good old beater, but it sounds great, uh, looks cool. Um, the good original All-American uh, vintage Washburns from the early 80s. Like I said, this 1982, bright yellow, br all the bright neon colors. Very cool guitars. So um, I like this as much as anything I have. So um, and that's saying something. <laughs> okay. So great guitars. You cannot beat these things, man. Just a great unexplored guitar. Awesome. Grab you one or ten. <laughs>